Making signs and moons. We're going to get into clarifying this energy. My son may come and play his game, so I'm not sure if I have to put um, music in this video. My apologies uh, if I have to, okay? The link for part one will be in the description box below. So if you see this a year from now, a month from now, and you're like, where's part one? Look in the description box below, okay? I want to welcome all my members. I do appreciate all of you. Okay, thank you for your donations as well. We're going to clarify this person that was in this indecisive energy. This could be something that you both were in. You didn't know. You didn't have the, the, the clarity that you needed to move forward because you were in this energy of transformation. You were in a dark place. You were discovering yourself. Okay, uh, learning how to trust your intuition, to have faith. Okay. Transformation. Why is this here? This person was indecisive here. This is someone that didn't know if they wanted to go through this change. Now, there could have been some spell work uh, taking place. Okay, I heard the, the little horn. We got acting reckless, getting lit. Highly volatile relationship, personality, use precaution and protection. So this person was trying to defend themselves, okay, against their heart space. This is someone that didn't trust. They didn't trust because of whatever commitments that they had prior. This is an individual that went through a lot of hardships through the people that were closest to them. If you didn't see, <laughs> if you didn't see the reading for yesterday make sure to do so okay now i'm I'm not quite sure how i'm gonna put these readings out so i'm gonna be honest with you you may want to la watch the last couple of readings well last few readings um two three days uh, ago okay we got twin flames so in the first reading, it did talk about mirroring. OK, so you were mirroring your divine counterpart in the sense that of you were both experiencing the same lesson with different people. OK, uh, but possibly wasn't aware. OK, so whether if you had met this person or not, I feel like both of you were in toxic relationships, toxic belief system, toxic patterns. You were going through some sort of transformation and awakening. You were in a dark place. OK, you didn't know the truth because you weren't connected with your higher self. We got yin and yang, zen, zen, balance, unity, duality, coupling, complete, um, complement each other. Right. So I do feel like someone had to go, possibly you and this person, through a lot of different people to get to this place. They needed balance, right? Yin and Yang talks about balancing your light and your dark. And then that um, in the first reading, okay, for part one of this, it talked about that. Someone balancing their light and their dark, not avoiding your shadow, confronting your shadow, confronting your fears. So you don't act out in a reckless manner, okay? Anything else about this twin? They possibly didn't know or you didn't know who was your actual twin. You were, yeah, you, know, you were in your ego. This person was in their ego because before you encounter your um, twin flame, you have a false flame. And that usually guides you to the path of twin flame journeys, right? Some of you may be realizing that this person was a soulmate that you were infatuated with. Now, I'm not saying that it wasn't a strong connection, because if that was a soulmate, you do have ties with this person, possibly in the past life. But it would have been a lot of false starts. It would have been uh, things not coming together like they should. This person may have mirrored to you the things that you needed to work on and vice versa. They mimic your false flame mimics your true divine counterpart, your true twin flame in a lot of ways. And so um, sometimes that's why people get it mistaken. However, it's about vibration. When you encountered your twin, they had already had a higher aspect, okay? Possibly stability or some, something. Something was different, okay, um, from this false flame, okay? We got me and my ego, Pride or fear in the way, not connecting, not contacting you, but thinking of you often, 
replaying events over in the mind. This person is this person was thinking about contacting you, but they didn't because they were in a dark place. Again, they were going through some sort of transformation. We got made with love, a gift from the heart, sentimental and offering or what is this? A contribution, try new things, uh, being there and support. So for some of you, especially, um, you may have given this person a gift or you share a gift in common. This person may, you know, they may be into the occult. OK, and that's not to scare anyone, but this person may have already had some connection to the darker side. However, they may have became engulfed in that. So that darker side could have been materialism. I believe I picked that up in uh, the first reading, reading number one of this. All right. This person is really ready to try new things. After they balance their ego here, this person may have taken a major loss. This could be a business owner. You could be a business owner. But this person is still here um, as the emperor. Now, for some of you, you could be married. And I'm not saying that uh, the person that you are married to is someone that is low vibrational. You could be married to a soulmate. OK, someone that got you through a rough place. And this may be something that you and this person share um, in common because we got the scrying mirror. We talking about projection. OK, so this would be a relationship where um, this person was showing you the things that you needed to change. OK, I'm hearing it was happen happening simultaneously. But for some of you, this false flame could be this person that is in this energy of transformation. They may be thinking about um, them not contributing, them not valuing you. And they may be in this energy of wanting to heal something with you. With surrender to non-action being here, I felt like your false flame and your um, twin flame or higher level soulmate both have very strong egos. Matter of fact, for some of you, they may even have similar birth charts. Why is the sun card here? Somebody's realizing their destiny, their true calling. We have, I know that passion is ignited when I create experiences that excite me. I'm going on an adventure. So this person is still in this energy of indecisiveness. It says, I know that a simple shift in perspective can change my reality. I'm choosing joy. So I feel like there's a little bit of hesitation um, from this person here because they still may be battling their ego. All right. For some of you, you may not want this person back. They may be fearful because they may have participated in some things that were really dark for some of you. OK. But I do feel like this person is healing themselves or they they went through some form of transformation or you did. OK, this person is realizing that they need to get structured because they may be facing some health issues that their health became obstacle here. OK, I'm hearing a hard head, you know, makes a soft behind. Why is Leo here? This person may be drinking a lot or partying or something like that. Yeah. So this person hurts you. They hurt your heart. OK. And it needed courage for you to get through this time here. You needed strength. For some of you, you needed strength to overcome some form of addiction. Being obsessive, power hungry, competitive even. All right. Well, yeah, this is Leo energy also. So somebody needs courage to confront you. This is someone that may fear being vulnerable. All right. They may have a fear of public speaking as well. I don't know if somebody's a celebrity, but this is definitely a star seed um, type of energy. So this person may be envious of the fact that you are your true self here. With rest being here, I do feel like, again, you are connecting with this person in the 5D. They, they possibly can't sleep because they're thinking about you a lot. Why is the star card here, please? Passion, love. Look at that. Look, look at that. That's beautiful. It's beautiful. <laughs> this person is passionate about you. You know, you may, you know, be feeling that energy when you sleep. 
Okay, we got to know that everything aligns for my highest good. I'm trusting the process here. So this person definitely is on your mind or you are on theirs. Why is dreams here? For some of you, this person wants to make your dreams come true. Protection in reverse. Okay. I feel like they want you to drop your boundaries here. Okay. We have, I know that it is important to work hard and play even harder. I'm supposed to have fun in reverse. So, yeah. Some of you work really hard. Um, some of you need to ask for protection over your finances, over your twin even. But I do feel like there may be someone trying to attach a succubus energy onto someone or cause somebody to be depressed here. This may be something that you have in common with this person. Okay. You may be picking up the energy of this person's nightmares, this person's fear. Why is Sun card here, please, on the fence? Somebody is depressed here, and there may be because they have an entity. You need to cleanse your environment or face your fears here. That fears could be some uh, someone that is power hungry, obsessive even. Why is Black Moon, well, Sun card here? Somebody doesn't want something to change. Yeah. Somebody has like, uh, I'm hearing a distant relative or a spouse. Somebody has a, a compulsive disorder or something like that. Survival. Yeah. Somebody's in survival mode. Okay. Even indulgence. For some of you, uh, this person may drink a lot or indulge in um, risky practices here this person needs to trust their intuition we got trust here trust trust what they're creating trust themselves here trust that you'll be passionate about this person or vice versa somebody may not trust you okay or they don't trust the person that they are with you know oh sadness okay so this emperor is is sad is sad right now they may also feel like they didn't protect you Again, you may be picking up on this person energetically. I know that I am the only one who determines how my story unfolds. I am the main character. So they feel like they didn't step up. They didn't speak some sort of truth. They didn't defend you. We got, I know that each sunrise brings an opportunity to make a different choice. So they're definitely holding on to you. I feel like you can feel this person, especially at nighttime. Okay. They may stay busy if this is a business owner. So when they do finally hit that bed okay they're you know they're along with their thoughts here they're thinking of you now i don't know how you feel about that but i'm only giving you the energy that i'm picking up i know that i do not need to avoid making others uncomfortable by playing small i'm taking up space so somebody may still be in this energy of people pleasing i'm interested about this protection now why is six house here Somebody is water, monitoring someone's uh, daily events, daily routines, comfort, isolation. Okay. So somebody is uh, learning how to take care of themselves. This was a transformation. This person le needed to learn how to say no. And also somebody needs to learn how to say yes. Okay. Sweetness. Okay. So this person may see you. And someone they could grow old with, okay? They see you as their reflection. But I do feel they need to face themselves here. They may have gotten too comfortable in their daily routines, okay? This person needs to operate from their heart space. I know that I deserve wonderful things. Say it again. I know that I deserve wonderful things. I am worthy. So, yeah, this person knows that you are their divine counterpart, but they're fearful here. OK, they don't know if things will work. OK, or yeah, I feel like this is stagnant old energy. They're frustrated because they were trying to make something work with possibly someone that they have a family with, someone that was obsessed with control. They also feel like this person may come after you. OK, I keep hearing scapegoat. I know that for every door that life closes a new one opens around the corner i am optimistic yes so this person closed the chapter and they still have the remnants of this old uh, relationship they may have been with this person for a very long time is what i'm getting collective 
me and my ego, why is this here, please? False flame. We got the twin flame and the false flame. And as soon as I think I'm going to get out of here quick, I got the sand card coming up. Right? We got the false flame and the twin flame. So definitely this is somebody's ex. Uh, they stayed with this person because they needed to learn lessons. Okay? Somebody also has abandonment issues. This is uh, when that card comes out, somebody dog may have ran away, maybe even passed away for some of you. My condolences to you. But we're going to go ahead and get out the sand card. Look, I haven't had the sand cards come out in a while, but I believe it came out. the other. Yeah, maybe not. OK, we got will do or has anything for, done anything for attention. OK, this person was waking up and choosing violence. This work person was waking up and choosing uh, finances. They they were losing themselves in this dark place here. They didn't realize that they were being tested, that they were about to embark on something new. OK, are you did? For some of you, it's just it's just abandonment issues. OK, they feel like maybe you are too good for them or vice versa. Some of you, you had to heal from some sort of abandonment. This person that didn't show you any love here, this egotistical person. All right. Your true divine counterpart was dealing with the same thing. Why is we got what's a large purchase that led to instant regret? See, somebody was greedy. They was materialistic. Have you ever hurt someone by being greedy? If yes, what happened? If no. How can you be sure? Look, so this person, they was choosing money or what they thought was stability. This person didn't know that there was going to be something greater later with destiny here. They felt like they, you know, I do feel like this person lost a lot, possibly a business or something like that. And it may have sent them into some form of depression where they may have started leaning on alcohol, addiction, lust or whatever. OK, so, yeah. Yeah, this person may just deal with women, you know, for lower vibrational reasons here, because this person needs to release that negative energy, that shadow. They don't I feel like somebody don't want a long, long term commitment, although they know that you are their person. It's like a catch 22 with 22 being here. Because they want this connection, but then they they fear it also because they have abandonment issues. We have, have you ever wielded a weapon at someone in anger? When's the last time you flipped someone off? If you never flipped someone off, let me show you what it feels like. <laughs> so, yeah, they was like, man, whatever, you know, it's whatever, like. They didn't care. See, back then they didn't care because they, they possibly didn't care about themselves. This is the energy of someone. I'm going to leave you before you leave me. In some, some cases, they didn't even want to come towards you because they was dealing with somebody that made them regret relationships. We got, what's your current salary? Do you deserve more and why? Dramatically point at the greediest person in the room. Once you have, explain your reason. <laughs> So this person was greedy. They was hungry. They was hungry for this position, this emperor position that they possibly already felt that they deserved. However, they wasn't in their destined. They wasn't in their, their north node for them to receive it. This is the energy of somebody that is constantly working, working, working and not reaping anything. A lot of times that's associated with our past life um, that. Uh, heater will go off in a minute. My apologies. It's associated with our past life. We be having past life debt, things that we've done into uh, in a in a previous lifetime that we have to overcome this lifetime. And I looked at the clock and said 1919. I kid you not, right? And not only that, if you call yourself a twin, a lot of times you are the generational curse breaker. So you got a lot of. Uh, you got your ancestors dead. You have responsibilities of others. And let's not forget the people that we care about the most will be the per people that betray us. 
So here, imagine you being the responsible person. Well, you already know. Some of y'all, you already know. You're this responsible person. You're selfless. You're looking for everyone else, looking out for everyone else. And then they become greedy. They become entitled. They feel like you owe them something. But it's not until you get sick that you realize that these people are not there for you. You have to be there for yourself. Right? I'm hearing you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make them drink. We got I offer to cut you in on a fraud scheme if you help out in some simple way. Are you in? Would you have and lit your way to see? Child, I cannot. This could be three different people that this person had to heal from. For some of you, this could be, you know, you know, they may be doing something strange for a little bit of change. I'm just saying this person spends a lot of money. They like fancy things, extravagant things, but they don't know the value of those things because they they get it how they live. They're not used to really working hard. And this person don't think relations is working hard. Even though it may take a toll on your body, most definitely, okay? Because somebody is having some health issues. What's at the bottom here? Tell us about the most elaborate solo session you ever set up for yourself. Tell us about the time when you shame descended and ruined the afterglow. Oh, yeah, somebody. Uh, yeah, somebody operated out of lust. And it, yeah. And I mean, they got indignant with it. I'm just saying. Like, mm-mm. I'm going on an adventure in reverse. So somebody's not coming along with this person. For some of you, because we got the emperor here in the high aspect, just came out like this. They, you know, they already where they need to be. This could be a healer. This person may be very passionate about you, but they're they're depressed here. They possibly have to rebuild their finances, but they still the emperor. Matter of fact, they became the emperor after they lost everything. Is they learned how to surrender here. They confronted their shadow. Some of you, you need to to do that, but they ain't taking somebody with them. You gotta. I'm I'm sorry. Did I did I roll my eyes out loud? Somebody was dealing with a covert narcissist, or they were doing things in the dark. I smile in your face and take ideas. I see clearly just a matter of time. Woo wee. So for some of you, this person may have been smiling in your face or somebody that they were intertwined with. Someone, you know, that they encountered on their destined path or you did. Somebody tried to cause a tower moment, but they ended up trapping themselves. Possibly even getting arrested. Somebody may have been under the effects of some sort of love spell. I'm hearing a triangulation. They may have had somebody that they were sneaking and freaking with on the side. They may have seen you and was like, oh, oh, that's not about to happen. Okay, so, uh, yeah. This <laughs> Look, it wanted to reverse. I might, I might as well just, <laughs> somebody said, look, we're going to put it on the fence like that. It may not be this emperor because this, uh, somebody said they lost the emperor. It be like that sometimes, you know, when you lose them. Them emperors and them empresses, boy, it'll make you feel like you got a curse on you. Why am I am I supposed to have fun in reverse? Ooh, we somebody can't sleep, child. When they do, they have a nightmare. Somebody's not protected. Somebody ancestors on top of that head. We got reverse psychology. I pretend I don't want you, see you, know you. And that's what's hidden with the moon card here. They're very fearful. They can't sleep. They can't eat. They don't feel protected. They feel like they didn't protect you. And Emperor, if you watching this, whoever you left in the dust, this, 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 uh, what is that? I was going to say ball and chain. This ball and chain, boy, had you handcuffed to the big yields about. They said, this person, man. I feel like for some of you, either your emperor, your DM, or DM, this is you. You pretended like you didn't know this person, and that's why you feel sad. 
You feel like you didn't protect this person, right? But, and or somebody that is doing some bibbity boppity boo is using reverse psychology, pretending like they don't know your divine counterpart, your, your empress here. And that may have been what held you back. But this person knew you were watching them or connecting with that person telepathically. And they may have been a little bit perturbed. <laughs> Look at that. Your handler. Interesting enough, while I'm filming this, I seen a comment pop up because I had just released the prior reading, right? And they said, what's a handler? <laughs> So I'm going to read the card. Maybe that person will see this video. Oh, well, maybe they will because they could be a member. We got you were my oppressor. And I have been programmed to obey. But now you are my handler and I will execute your demands. Your handler is someone that guides you um, like your cattle, like a sheep. Sometimes they... You know, a lot of times there are people that we have close to us, family members. For some of you, this is a mother figure. Okay. Maybe a spouse. Okay. It could be a male as well. But somebody don't feel protected. This person is not having fun. Fun in reverse. And I heard, and so is that curse. This person held back the fact that they loved you. They needed to be honest and be real with themselves. We got don't trip over something that is behind you. This is the approach that you took or this person took here. And they was using reverse psychology here because this person, they weren't, they weren't sure. When they made this decision, they had some form of stability. Trust and believe that. Look at that. Didn't I just say in that curse too? All spells have now been reversed. 247 days. God is who we praise, even though the devil's all up in my face. And that's by Bone Thugs and Harmony. And this little uh, bar here, that's why a group called Muse. Somebody's testifying here. At court, in court, uh, spiritual court, physical court, a mother speaks the truth here. Is this person is being judged? They may be the person that uh, has some sort of health issues. If the spell reversed, boy, they weren't protected. For some of you, there could have been an ending. Protection. Why is this here? There could have been a physical ending. Yeah. This is somebody that trolled you, trolled this person. Crossing boundaries, limit your engagement, speak your truth, blaming the victim in isolation. So that bridge came crumbling down here. For some of you, this person was trolling you. Since we got sadness here on the fence like this, let's see why it's here. It keep falling on the floor. That's how I know somebody ain't here no more. Yeah, especially with, with the Pluto being here. You know, that's the underlive card. We got boundaries and desires. Yeah, this, yeah. <laughs> Cross the belly, like, they like, nah, Ethan, you had it right the first time. This person crossed somebody's boundaries and now they said about it. Okay, now for some of you, your emperor crossed boundaries with you and they're sad. They feel like they didn't protect you. This person may even be arguing with the women or family members or a woman that they had because of what they were doing. Because I'm hearing somebody say, I'm with you. I'm with you. And this person is acting like they don't know you, see you. They're in some sort of depression because they desire you. But they're gaining some sort of some form of enlightenment, though. Why is the sun card here before I get up out of here? Come on, not, not another one on the floor. Y'all got me doing my exercise today. <laughs> it's written all love in your face. Sing it with me now. You don't have to say. Oh. Somebody said, can you sing? I said, only in the shower. 
<laughs> I can hit a few high notes, but I ain't hit them in a long time. <laughs> Somebody was in this energy of psychological warfare. But it was all aggression, 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 aggression. So somebody's realizing somebody was in survival mode, okay? They depressed because they planned something out and it ain't looking too good for this person. Whoever this uh, person is that was using lust as a means to trap somebody. Ooh, passed over. Either they got next or somebody is deleted. Mm hmm they're unaligned, you know, for whatever action they took in the past. What's this Passover energy about? Explore, adventure. And then we got the moon card and read secrets. Oh, yeah, this is it. Look. This is somebody, this is a mother figure. Somebody perception was off. Whoa! Look at mm, mm, mm. so death is an illusion. I might have to beat that out. It was all divinely orchestrated, and for some of you. Uh, unalive, being unalive is an illusion because we're energy. So more than likely that energy of whoever, whoever passed over is already been recycled or moved on to another uh, dimension here. And that's why somebody is depressed. Yeah. I'm hearing survival of the fittest. Let me take a closer look at this. We got things caution things look like they are going smoothly but don't become too confident they could get gradually more difficult self-aware somebody okay i feel like that's a warning for somebody we got satisfaction you let the energy of love guide you to self-approval so that others no longer define who you are. And I'm going to end it there. Oh, scoring is suspicious. Disapproval, plan, plotting. Somebody, baby mama. Somebody mama. Yeah, they want to they wanna start a fight. Yeah, because somebody's in this energy of only looking back to see how far you come. And hey, I wouldn't go around this person. This person is sneaky. They want to get your hair. They don't care. Facial hair, pubic hair. They want your nails that you know. Hey, if you wax, they may take that wax strip. Listen, saliva. Okay. We got a homeo. Uh, Homeopathy, medical practice that treats a disease or remedy. Hey, look, check this out. Don't be uh, up in there in them drawers. Don't be up in them in them drawers because somebody trying to hit you with the hee 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 how deuces. <laughs>